Hi, and welcome once again to Solterra Essences Essential Oil Tips. We're on tip number four. And in this tip, I had shared with you last time in tip two, I believe it was, on how to inhale or how to use the fragrance within an essential oil so that it speaks to both sides of your brain and how each side of the brain actually perceives that signature a little bit different and translates that signature a little bit different as it sends the message down into your um, central nervous system as it receives the message into the olfactor and how all of that then begins the process of sending and doing and working with the essential oils and so what I'm hoping to do is to help you get the most out of your essential oil products that's one reason why we're sharing these tips it's, you know, like we've said before, essential oils are chemical compounds, and there's something that we have to take seriously. We can't just pop open a bottle of essential oil and start using it. We have to have knowledge. We have to have wisdom. We have to have all of those things attached to what we are doing and using with our essential oils. So to begin with, I did remember to bring an essential oil bottle with me today. And what you're going to do is you're going to, when you crack open your essential oil bottle, and if it's a brand new bottle, it should have a nice little seal on it right there that keep, that lets you know that this is a fresh bottle. Um, and also a lot of them will have a shrink wrap around them also to let you know that they've been poured, they've been labeled, they've been documented. And that shrink wrap for our company means that we've completed the process for you. And this is kind of like us putting our, our seal of, um, completeness for you. So when you open up your essential oil bottle, you want to never ever touch this top part right here. You never ever want to put your finger on this part of your essential oil bottle because you contaminate it, because you will create um, a contamination that then goes down into your, your oil and then it becomes something that affects you. So um, and remember, we're speaking to both sides of the brain when we do this. I'm April Lugo, and I'm a certified essential oil practitioner and a PhD in holistic healing modalities. Um, I'm the owner and founder of Solterra Essences Essential Oils and Essentials. Um, our company began back in the early 2000s with my son David as our distiller. He went and learned and did a lot of processing to really get an understanding of the proper method to distill and how to distill. We produce um, single oils, we produce oil blends, and I went and um, attended schooling so that I would be able to share with you um, the blends so that we can know the chemical compounds and that type of thing as well. Um, so once again, when you open your essential oil, you never want to touch the top part. You never want to touch here. You never want to put a contaminant in it. And when you lay your cap down, you never want to lay it down this way. You always want to lay it down this way so that you don't create a contamination within the actual lid right here itself. One of the other things that I also like to do is I'll put down like a, a, a nice clean cloth, um, paper towel, something like that that I can lay my lid on so that I keep it from becoming contaminated. And then also if there's a little bit of oil that gets onto anything, the cloth protects it. So when you want to do an inhalation with an essential oil, you want to do it so that each side of the brain perceives the signature. I always tend to start on the left side and go to the right side. It really does not matter. It's what works for you and what's the most comfortable for you. So at first, when you start doing this, you can place a finger over one side, over one of your nostrils, and then you want to kind of start back here by the ear, make sure not to get it in your hair, and you bring the oil forward, inhaling, and then down. So it's kind of a type of emotion. And you'll notice the nice fragrance as it kind of goes up into the brain as it's starting to really make some, you know, get that signature going into the brain. Give a little bit of time between it, then go to the opposite side, same process. 
And as I said, each side of your brain is going to perceive that inhalation a little bit differently, and it's going to begin doing the work that your body um, needs. It's going to begin doing the healing work through the inhalation of that essential oil to begin the healing process. Thank you for letting me spend some time with you today and sharing some tips. I wanna invite you to go check out our website for more information and details and a list of our products and that type of thing. It's solterraessences.com. That's S as in Sam, O-L, T as in Tom, A-R-A, Solterra Essences, S-O-L-T-A-R-A, essences.com. You can email us also at solterraessences at yahoo.com. Be in contact with us. If you have any questions about an essential oil, is an essential oil that you have in your cabinet good? Is, you know, any kind of questions you may have, please feel free to send us a question via this Facebook page or um, to our email. We'll be more than happy to answer those questions. When you're done with your oil, you always want to seal them nice and tight and get the most benefit from that product over time. Have a great rest of your day.